Hey, what's up? How's it going? It's Rob and welcome to Live Curious. Um, I'm on crutches because I sprained my ankle pretty bad, but I didn't want the week to go by without making a video, so I've got a quick one for you today. Let's go sit down. I, uh, I had big plans for the channel this week. I mean, it's been great. The channel's been growing really well. A lot of you have just joined in, so welcome to Leave Curious. But today I just wanted to get your opinion on some rewilding news. So, after 6,000 years, the bison is set to return to the UK. But are we ready? The European bison, who formerly went extinct in Europe in the early 20th century, has been making a comeback across Europe through reintroductions. Free ranging herds can now be found in several countries, but why did they go extinct in the first place? You guessed it, a combination of hunting and habitat loss. I mean, the species barely made it. There was only a handful of bison left in zoos, and from a lot of hard work of conservationists, they were able to save the species. And over the past 80 years, there have been some reintroductions, with the estimated number of individuals reaching 4,000. The core areas are in Poland and Belarus. Bison are huge, weighing up to a thousand kilograms and can stand up to two meters tall. It's a formidable animal that desires expanses of land to graze as a herd, with adults eating up to 32 kilograms of vegetation a day. An animal of this nature has a resounding effect upon the ecosystem. Their feeding habits, as well as their beauty regime, which involves rubbing their enormous bodies against trees to shed their fur, has a large effect upon woodland habitats. They effectively break down trees, snapping branches is creating not only structural diversity within an ecosystem, opening up areas, but also creating deadwood and allowing light to the understory of the forest, which benefits biodiversity. And from a woodland management perspective, bison can do humans a huge favour too. Bleen Woods in Kent is a woodland predominantly made up of non-native pine species. Formerly managed for timber production, humans have tried clearing and thinning out the dominant non-native species. But not only was this management costly, it also severely disrupted wildlife, not to mention the carbon footprint. This is the area that bison are to be reintroduced in the UK. It's a very exciting project set up by the Wildlife Trust and it's been funded by the National Lottery and it's cost just over a million pounds. But given the sheer size and stature of the bison, do you think we're ready for it? Well, ready or not, the bison will be fenced in, but hopefully some viewing points will be made available so the public can get involved too. The aim of the project will hope to show the benefits that bison can have ecologically, but do we really need to prove it again when it's already happening in other parts of Europe? In the Southern Carpathians, bison have been released into the wild without fences. The benefits of the bison have been felt in this area. There has also been a few challenges, but on a whole, the people seem happy about the bison returning. But the landscape in the Southern Carpathians is very different to that of here in the UK. In the UK, you can identify isolated areas where you could reintroduce the bison, but the problem lies in that disconnection of the habitat, whereas somewhere like the Southern Carpathians, it's generally much bigger and it's just less influenced by man. But the project in Kent is of course a good thing and I certainly will be visiting, providing I don't sprain my ankle again. <sighs> But as always, when it comes to rewilding or any project that is for nature, no matter how big, no matter how small, it's important to get behind it. But please share your thoughts on the bison, whether if you think it's too big, it's too dangerous to be here in the UK, or maybe you just want to see it roaming free and just doing its thing across the countryside. But thanks for watching guys. I know this video has been a little bit different to my other ones purely because I can't run around the countryside. But yeah, thanks for watching. Leave curious. This is where I, I exit the camera and I usually I usually just skip away or something, but I'm gonna have to hobble. Oh. If you wanna know how I did my ankle, I've spoken about it on my vlog channel, which you can click on the screen now. Thanks for watching. <laughs>